Aqui que carete. Dave Hogsett for Practical Show and Rue. So I'm continuing my series on solo pad training drills for bunkai applications for Fukuyada Itch. It's the, the first basic kata for Matsubashi uh, Show and Rue, and other Show and Rue uh, systems and schools also use this particular kata. Uh, again, very basic uh, techniques in this kata, so it can uh, appeal to a variety of, of systems, a variety of styles that use all of these. Uh, techniques in one fashion or another. The second uh, bunkai application I'm looking at is a very short part of the kata. Basically it's after the opening sequence there was a low block step punch, low block step punch, then there's a 90 degree low block step punch. I'm going to be looking at that short little low block step punch. Uh, the, the context for this particular application is dealing with an attempted grab, a lapel grab, grab to the hand, grab to the throat, neck, whatever it happens to be. They're reaching in towards you. It could be they're reaching in and pointing, they're trying to close the gap, they're trying to get their hands on you uh, in order to strike you better. This is a very basic attack. Uh, our kata shows us this, uh, where you're... Uh, reaching hand, like it's just basic punching for example, right? Some systems will punch, do this, punch, do that, punch, what does that mean? You're grabbing some a clothing, an arm, a neck, hair, whatever, and you're pulling them into the punch. When you get your hands on the enemy, you know just from feeling, proprioception, uh, proprioception, you know exactly where they are and you can strike more effectively. Well, guess what? The enemy knows that too. Uh, watch any basic uh, street fight or video, whether it's violence that takes out, uh, you know, breaks out. What happens? Someone is going to grab the person, keep a hold, and just start wailing on them. Right? Uh, watch a hockey match uh, when they sort sort of. It's kind of fun about hockey. They kind of let you fight for a bit, right? Um, but what do they do? They grab a jersey so they can't get away, and they just start whacking them. Right? Well, that's a great tactic. We can do that too. Uh, so, um, but we want to keep our enemy from doing that. We don't want them to get their hands on us. Uh, so, in this particular application, we're going to be uh, doing, um, we're going to be dealing with that, uh, not allowing them to grab us, and then uh, engaging in a counter strike and escape. So again, we had the opening move, low block, step punch, low block, step punch. So this is where I'm starting in, in the, uh, the kata. We've got this punch from here. All I'm looking at at this point is the low block here and step punch. So you're, we're going to the 90 degrees step and then stepping in and punching. All right, well, what, what, how, would, how do we set this up? So uh, you, you, you've got the, uh, um, the enemy who's pointing or they're stepping in, they're trying to reach in and, and grab you. You don't want to let the person get in close on you. So, what you can imagine, and in order to get their hands on you, you don't want that, right? So, as that hand is coming in to, to grab a wrist, to, to, to get their hands on your throat, to grab a, a lapel, grab whatever it happens to be, you see them reaching in, it's on, right? In that case, you're going to, as a hand is coming in, same side, the hand that's reaching in, same side uh, hand comes up, right? So your, well, your hand should already be up. What I'm saying is that hand is coming in, you are parrying that hand across, grabbing with this hand, here's your hikate, right? So the wind up, where I'm thinking the wind up for that low block, I'm gonna augment this, this wind up is an elbow strike, okay? So I'm thinking about parrying that hand across, I'm grabbing, I'm gonna pull that, that enemy right in, pow, to that um, elbow strike to the side of the head. And obviously you can hit multiple times, right? Hopefully that drops him and you can, you, you can run away. It might not though, yeah? 
So you, you got them, you're hitting a few times, they don't drop. You're just going to move that hand right over the head, grab an ear, cheek, eye, whatever, and you're going to peel them backwards and down. That's a very common application for low block. All right, so this should look like your wind up for low block, right? So you hit the elbow, you're going to wrap around, you're going to go to the 90 degrees, use that weight shift, pull the enemy down, hopefully that disrupts their balance, they, they stumble back, perfect setup for a strike. Okay? If they don't go down, that's fine, you've at least disrupted their posture, their head, back. they should be leaning back this way, in which case the kata says step punch, right? Step and strike. Now how could we do this using uh, the target mitt? So remember, uh, again with the target mitt, uh, it's going to be taking away that hikate. So you still have to visualize what you're doing with that hikate, okay? Alright, so you've got, your, your enemy is here, they're reaching in uh, to try and grab you in, in whatever way. So as that hand comes in, you're parrying, you're grabbing, you're going to then slide in. As you pull that hand back, you're going for the elbow strike. And the, for the sake of the drill, you're going to be hitting that target mitt. So that's their head, right? So as they come in, you've struck the side of the head. Hopefully they drop, yeah? Again, what's really great about these types of drills is that you get a sense of how strong your techniques are. If you find they're not that strong, work on it, right? Um, if you have to hit them 10, 20 times before they drop, maybe you should work on your power generation, right? Anyway, uh, so you've got, you, you pair the hand, you grab, and you strike. If they don't go down, the hand comes around the head and you grab whatever you can grab, an ear, an eye, cheek, chin, whatever. You're going to pull them this way. Great. If they go down, now I'm going to strike to the head. In this case, I'm going to just use, because the head is here, I'm going to do a palm heel using this hand in this case. So I got palm heel. Yeah? All right. So they reach in. I parry pull them around, and I'm away. What if they don't go down or, or stumble over? Maybe they spin out of it, okay? The kata says step punch. So it comes in, strike, peel, they step out, I'm gonna step in, palm heel, and then away, okay? So then you just work that uh, uh, as, as, a, uh, as a drill. Away, or they don't go down, And away. And then you just switch up and do it to the other side. And away. And if they don't go down, you step in and strike. And away. Yeah? So that's a uh, solo pad training drill. You're getting some impact training uh, for that second part uh, of Fukukata. Itch. Again, there are going to be some flaws in a drill, some drawbacks, but if you're aware of them and you think about uh, visualization, about what you're actually doing, uh, this can be a really nice way to supplement your Bunkai training drill, especially in the context of a quarantine where you need to do uh, solo training or uh, if you're back in the dojo but your particular state or region uh, is not allowing for um, partner training, you have to maintain physical distancing in the dojo, well then you can also use these types of uh, solo pad drills in the dojo to work impact training for those bunkai applications. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope that gives you some uh, ideas in your own training.